So my topic today is a prime and pedal axis. Uh, it's really similar to radio. So let's go through something, nothing to discuss. So I think traditionally we do everything through the formula. Uh, so what are the problem for formula axis? So everybody sees this slide, big pseudo aneurysm, ecchymosis. Ecchymosis is, is nothing dangerous, but the patient just yell and scream at you. They say, what happened? You know, this is the thing patient remember, okay? Uh, patient have a retroperitone, retroperitone. Ooh, I cannot control this mouse. Yeah, then I, you can roll the ball. <laughs> I try. Ooh. Okay, good. All right, big retroperitoneal bleeding. There's a life threatening. This is all the problem from the femoral axis. How about the closing device? The closing device, yes, very convenient for patient, but does not seem to be decreased the complication at all. We see this thing happen all the time. You put a pericles, everything fine, but loss of pulse, okay? And angio seal, you close it, but leave it something behind and causing stenosis. So this thing happened. And especially the bleeding, the bleeding complication is the one we don't like to see as an interventional cardiologist. The more bleeding you got, the bad outcome. It's a 30-day death rate. It's a very risk increase. This is a well-known slide by, uh, by Dr. Rao in Duke, and he assessed that from mild bleeding, mortal bleeding, severe bleeding, 30 days outcome, really bad. So for coronary, we all learned that the radio calf and PCI can avoid femoral complication. I don't need to go through the data. There's a tons and tons of study on that. How about from the peripheral standpoint, how we can decrease the femoral access complication? One is we learn from radio, uh, coronary, is that to do the radio. We go through from radio all the way down to common femoral, iliac common femoral, and the tibial vessel to do intervention. I think that technically we can do it, but however, technical is a lot, a lot challenge. For we doing peripheral intervention, we usually put a long sheet, uh, the long six fan sheet, a lot of spasm, even though you're so good in radio intervention. It's very difficult to avoid. And sometimes you make mistake, the wire go through the renal artery, you make a perforation, et cetera, et cetera. But the worst thing is we don't have enough equipment through the radio when we do the peripheral intervention. The length is really limited, okay? We had a long wire now, we have a long balloon shaft now, yes, but our fatamid device is still very short. Uh, the aspiration catheter, filter catheter, I really rarely can fit through the radio. So there's a lot of limitation from radio approach. All right, so one thing to think about that, if we can do retrograde pedal up, okay, we can bypass a femoral axis, then this thing can be done. All right, so this is one idea. And the usually thinking is a facilitated revascularization after a fail anti-grade axis. When we do a femoral axis, we fail, then we do a pedal axis to go in up to revascularize, for example, the CTO SFA. <coughs> Why is that? easier for well, retrograde. The pressure gradient usually lower in the, in the retrograde fraction, so easier for CTO causing, less calcium, less fibrotic. And the force to going up, retrograde going up, is very easy to transmit the force. And the equipment, quite friendly to fit the pedal going up. And we set a re-entry. Re-entry become big vessel to a small vessel, anti-grade to Distal, sometimes very difficult, but reverse it. When you're from small lumen to a bigger lumen for re-entry, it's okay. It's not that difficult. But this is not the way the talk today. The talk is pyramid axis. The pyramid axis is really similar to the radio coronary. Let's look at some data. There's not enough data, but just look at my personal thinking and data. Okay, internal history, radio, longer than 30 years, pedal, 15 years, 
but for primarily only very, very recent 10 years. The radio, more important, it is, is a guideline, European guidelines class 1A for cornering. Okay, from Pedo, we are nothing yet. How about the anatomy? From radio, we are free vessel. Okay, everybody thinks there's a radio owner, but the interruptions is also important. Okay, they are very rich collateral. If you lost the radio, usually nothing happened. Okay, you use loss of radio, you lost the owner, it happened before, but it's still nothing happened because of the interruptions. Okay, big collateral going up. And the radio artery, very easy to compress. It's a bone underneath, okay? So that's why you make the bleeding complication almost zero. For the pedo, similar, AT, PT, peroneal. The AT is a similar to radio. And the PT, very similar to owner. Puncture technique, similar. Ultrasound guidance for, for pedo, for radio, most of palpation, but now a lot of people using ultrasound. Anterior puncture, posterior puncture, your choice. Give cocktail, give heparin, slender seat, closing device, patent hemostasis, very, very similar for both techniques. Now, for pedal puncture, ultrasound, palpation, fluoroscopic guidance, roll rat. When you do a peroneal puncture, we call reside. This is how we do that. Ultrasound, short access very popular, long access, difficult, but can be learned. And geographic guidance, similar, very simple. Okay, the peroneal, little bit tr tricky. Okay, usually we don't know where the peroneal lighting. Okay, so you do, we call it resign. You re internal rotate the leg to you and the camera a little bit 30 degree to the other side and you puncture between the V. Okay, that this is how the peroneal lighting need some training. After you put the puncture in, guy seat, racial dilator, heparin, everything very similar. Complication, also <laughs> similar. As the site of cruiser, perforation, pseudoanism, AV fistula. So the radio and pedal very, very similar and the very minimum too. Everybody worry about the SSA occlusion, definitely, especially pedal. Mm -hmm. But we learn from radio, we can keep it very, very minimum. Okay, the SSI occlusion, vascular injury, hypercolor state, stasis, everything can be prevented. Minimum sheet, give a heparin, and give a short occlusion when you do the hemostasis, and patent hemostasis is the key. And nowadays, radio occlusion is less, less than 5%. Okay, we aim at 2% now, okay, but 5% is a very maximum. For pedo, we have some data, a lot of a for, uh, study, a small study, but did not seem to be a big complication. So I would guess there's a very similar to radio, it's a nothing big. Major thing is how to do the occlusion. In radio, we do the patent hemostasis, very simple, but in pedo, we use a Doppler. We call a modified patent hemostasis. Okay, make sure your Doppler flow when you occlude the pedal artery. AT, simple, where it is low pressure, but for PT and a peroneal, you got to do a high pressure. Make sure you don't develop problem. Pseudoanism can develop, okay? Radio, very simple, compression. But for peroneal or uh, pedal artery, the pseudoanism, most of the time you need to do a thumb injection. We have a lot of serious, very really low incident, but when you see detect a pseudoanism, do the thrombin injection is a key. Perforation, you happen, radio happen, pedo happen, AV fistula, in radio happen, okay, and all right. In pedo approach also happen. And, and I'm sure somebody do a lot of right high calf through the forearm. This accident, long time ago, about 10 or 20 years ago, someone tried to puncture radial artery, but the puncture wing. Happened in the pedal artery too. You think it's an artery, but sometimes a wing. But we cannot do right high care from the pedal artery. <laughs> <laughs> Radiation excessive. Yes, there's a happen in radio up radio to coronary, but only different 
low volume center and the operator. And the pedo is much better than the firmware approach because the camera is right on the leg. It is not in the fatty tissue, in the abdominal. So you can rebound all the radiation. So this is our one of the study. How we do revascularization? For radio, you do anti-gray, of course, but in pedo, all virtual gray. You do CTO in radio, bilateral radio, and but pedo, you do radio and pedo. Okay, then you can avoid all the femoral artery. This is coronary CTO, and from the pedal artery, you from the radial down, pedal up, boom, you the car technique. You do that all the time, and this is very, very good, okay? And hemodynamic, you can measure the pressure from the pedal sheet to measure your success. And the radio, of course, you cannot. Okay, so the pedal, the advantage, you put the pedal sheet in, you finish revascularization, you monitor pressure, and you can see a good waveform, good pressure, and you can see the success. Learning curve, both the same, okay? You have to do a lot to learn it. So there's a last slide, conclusion, femoral, avoid femoral complication, both the same. History, young, for pedal, and anatomy, very similar. Patient satisfaction, ideal outpatient ambulatory setting. I think this is key. When you do prime mini pedal, patient going home and same day. Now we do a lot of our outpatient. This is a key. Puncture technique, closing divide, patent hemostasis, everything very, very similar. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Oh. Beautiful. Uh that was an excellent direct head-on comparison between radial and pedal and how analogous things can get. So, thank you, Dr. So Kwan. The question I want to ask um, the fellows, thank you, Dr. Kwan. Any question for him? Because, I mean, uh, I know he's busy. He may be leaving. Any questions on pedal access um, at all? No, because I mean, I mean you know, it, so I just want to make sure there's any questions. Yes. Yes, uh, the way we handle in our, in our lab, the AT is very simple, okay? AT artery is superficial about the bone, so you can do anything you want. You can put a device, a band device, okay? The TL band, make sure you take the half plate out because it's on the angle, okay? We use and call the vasostat device, very friendly, it's a pounding device going down. Some page, some operator just using like gauze, Hand compression for 10 to 15 minutes should be okay, okay. But for PT and peroneal, you have to use in high pressure, okay. I using the TL band all the time in uh, PT and peroneal. I using 25 cc at least, or sometimes 30 cc, okay. And then you do a, a modified patent hemostasis. That means I use a Doppler flow to guide my pressure. Thank you. Yes. Sheet, the sheet are using the same sheet as a corner lily. It's a slender sheet. So everything is slender nowadays. Okay, you can fit anything. Six French, uh, so you can fit all the device. But you don't, if you just do a balloon, just DCB, now it's a five French sheet, very friendly. You can do the plan. Okay, if I think I'm comfortable, I will try the plan. All the V sign is right lighting there. Okay, the peroneal. You can do a couple one if you're non successful. Then you do angiographic guidance from radio, put a catheter going down, inject it to see where you're lying. Okay, great question. Just want to make one comment before we start this. You know, it's not that I think any one of us here is endorsing um, access, primary pedal for access. I want everyone to know this. But part of the education here is that to understand that there are other access points that you can do. The majority of us in this room do pedal access for crossing lesions and never put a sheath in. I don't want all of you to, to go home because, you know, Dr. Kwan is an incredibly experienced operator. He has a lot more experience in that than probably most of us in this room. So the majority of us use that for access, and I want you to respect the pedal vasculature. It's not like the radial vasculature. How many times have you seen distal arter arterial disease in the hand when you do a radial angiogram? Almost zero. While the pedal vasculature is incredibly prone to microvascular disease. 
So, you know, the, the reason we do this is to prevent critical limb ischemia. If we're treating critical limbs, we have to heal the wound. But if, but if we go ahead, get pedal access, put a sheath in, and lose that vessel, then I think you may be doing the patient disservice. The data is very unclear, um, and there is data out of Europe. There's data out of U U.S., as, as Dr. Kwan showed you. But I, I do want to show you that, that, that cases can be done in extreme uh, uh, reasons, but always watch your indication and respect the pedal artery, please. We're not, none of us here, I can tell you, you can talk to any one of the faculty who was here, they'll all tell you, 99% of them will tell you that they very, very rarely do primary pedal access for intervention, okay? So just want to get that clear. And um, having said that, Dr. Dr. Um, Jose, you're up.